Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Chalk Couture. Today, I'm excited to bring you the This Is Us frame. This frame is actually inspired by one of my favorite shows, which is This Is Us, so let's get started. For this project, you'll need the 10-inch round boutique board frame, the B-size This Is Us transfer, the B-size Admire You transfer. We'll also need the placement tape, squeegees, multi-tool, fuzzing cloth, white, and shimmer gold chalkology paste. Now, on your transfer, you want to make sure it lines up perfectly in the center. Our 10 inch round has a hole, so I knew exactly where to line up the Admire You transfer where the swirls come together. I'll use the four inch squeegee to make sure we have it on that board nice and secure. Now, our placement tape is used for many different reasons, but I love using it to block or mask the areas I do not want to transfer through. Anywhere you see black right now, our paste is going to end up on the board. So all of that text in the middle and the quote, I do not want. So by using our placement tape, I can block it out. It has the same texture as our uh, transfers, so it works great. I used our white chalkology paste around the frame and our shimmer gold paste on the two beautiful couples at the bottom of the board. Remove all of your excess, put it back into the jar, and voila, look at that. Now, in this project, I made some oopsie doolies. You can see there, I have a little bit of a mess up. Don't worry, dry your board. I use a cool setting on our hair dryer, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Grab some ammonia-free foaming glass cleaner. Spray a little bit onto your work surface and get Swisper Q-tips. These can be found in the cosmetic section. It has a pointy end that lets you use it as an eraser. Watch this. You just roll it in that Windex and it literally erases your mistakes. It also has a nice flat end, which allows you to buff out any moisture that was left behind. Notice how I can go up and use this just like an eraser. So even if you have a little oopsie doodly, you can use this to remove any mistakes and it doesn't take much. The key is to make sure it is dry, dry, dry. Now some parts might have a pretty thick spot and you don't really wanna use a Q-tip. So you wanna use what I call sometimes a pokey, pokey tool. Some people call it a pokey, pokey, no jokey, and you know who you are. And this will allow you to get a bulkier part of your paste off the board. It has a very sharp end, and you're actually just going to flake it off, grab some canned air, and then remove the little flakes that came off. This allows you to get big sections off without absorbing it with your Windex and just smearing it around. So I use that pokey, pokey, no jokey tool. Get in there, then, once I've removed it with the air can, I can go in there with my Swisper Q-tip and remove all of the smudging and stuff from that flaking. You just want to be careful not to scratch your board, of course, but that works great. This is seriously one of the biggest tips I always give out because if you do not use the right uh, tool, you can get a ghosting or shadow effect where it leaves kind of a smudge. So using ammonia-free foaming Windex and the Swisper tool literally gets rid of that effect. So I absolutely love it. And look at, we have a perfect result. Our oopsie whoopsie is gone ha <laughs> That was kind of corny, I'm sorry. All right, we're going to make sure that this whole layer is nice and dry. You can even see it's so dry, you can use our fuzzing cloth to wipe over it. Grab the This Is Us, and we're going to put that in the center. Now, remember, fuzz, fuzz, fuzz about five times. It's going to go in the center of the board, and you'll notice that I use the four-inch squeegee just to make sure this is us down. I'm not going to push over on that white border because I don't want my white border to get peeled up. We'll use white on the is and the gold, shimmering gold that is, on the this and us. I love the shimmer gold, it's beautiful. Make sure you have an ample amount on. You can always remove the excess, put it right back into that jar to use on a future project. Grab a little bit to get that white and look at the results. I love this. Once again, if you're not watching This Is Us, you really should be, it's on BC, I love it. We're gonna make sure it is nice and dry using a cool setting on a dryer. And I wanted this to hang on a door. So I'm gonna be using some black ribbon with just a little bit of gold foiling on it. It is beautiful, tie a knot in the top, and I love how this board turned out. This is us. Perfect, huh? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's quick project. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. All of the links are down below. Hope you have an amazing day. Thanks, everyone. Bye.